In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create the mechanic for a bowl with visual scripting in a game like Roll a Bowl. So right here in the scene, I have a bowl and currently the bowl has a mesh and a sphere collider. Now, what I want to do is add a rigid body and also I'll add a script machine for the logic. I'm going to use an embedded, but you can also use a graph if you like. To get our bowl rolling, what I'm going to do is use fixed update. And on every fixed update, I'm going to add torque and it's one of the options on the rigid body. How I'm going to calculate the value for torque is by using inputs and I'm going to use the input get access, the raw input. So the inputs that I'm going to use here is vertical and let's duplicate this and make horizontal. And I'm going to pass these values to create a vector three. Now for the Z value, I actually want to flip the horizontal axis. So the way you can do that is by multiplying by negative one. And now we can pass that for Z. So this is going to be our movement vector, but let's also normalize it. And I want to actually multiply by generic. This is going to be the torque value that we want. So if you want to increase your torque, this is the value that you want to modify. But after that, I'm going to put through the per second unit and pass that as the torque. So that's the start for the script. And let's actually test it out and see how it works now. Now in my scene, I already have a third person camera set up for my bowl. And if you want a tutorial about how to set that up, there's a link in the description to the tutorial how to set up the third person camera. And now you can see in this game, we have a bowl that we can control. Now, currently, the bowl is rotating into the direction where I specify. So if I point up, it's going to actually go forward no matter what direction my camera is. But usually in these types of games, the bowl actually rotates in the direction the camera is facing. So let's go and modify our script to add that ability. To modify our rotation based on our camera angle, we'll need to get our camera. So let's get main. I'm going to use get main for now, but you can replace it with a camera variable. I'm going to get the rotation of this camera, but I'm only interested in the Y axis of the rotation. So I'll have to convert it to an Euler angle and get the Y axis from here. And now I need to create another quaternion with just using this angle. So we can use quaternion Euler and I want to actually pass it for Y. When we have a quaternion, one thing we can do is use a multiply unit. And if we multiply quaternion and vector three together, now the order actually matters here. You have to pass in the quaternion as A and a vector three as B. Then we get a modified vector based on the rotation. So let's go test that out. And there is one more thing that I'll show after that. So now I'll hold forward. And if I rotate the camera, you can see that the ball is actually changing the direction. Now you can see that the ball is actually pretty slow. And when you add torque, technically it's supposed to increase in speed, but it's not. And that is because there is a default angular speed limit in Unity. So if you want to check that, you can go to project settings and go to physics. And right here, you can find default max angular speed. It's currently set to seven and you can change it here but that's going to change the default for all of your game objects. So instead, the other option you have is actually just using rigid body set max angular speed and specify it specifically for this bowl. So let's set it to 40. And right there, you can see that the speed of the bowl is much faster now. If you found the video useful, be sure to click on that like button and I'll see you in the next video.